So we're talking about the very, very successful and professional orthodontist, both as an orthodontist and as a businessman. So I would like to present his lecture today with the title Invisalign First and Mandibular Advancement from Diagnostics to Biomechanics. Pedro Costa Monteiro. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Let me just ask you one question. If you could please just put your hand up if you are using Invisalign first. Wow, 50% maybe, good. So probably what I will try to teach you today, you already know. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, I will try my best. Let's speak a little bit about phase one treatment. Why do I use Invisalign first? Uh, and what is the big difference that this made on my practice? So as you know, and the American Society of Orthodontics say that 80% of our patients are kids. And during 15 years, I was treating only adults, which doesn't make sense. They completely changed my life because after doing the first course with Sandra, I start 30 kids in my clinic. And what is impressive is the amount of kids that I start getting after this and all their parents. So working with kids is really good on the business plan also. But it is really different uh, treating young children or treating adults. As you know, 60% of the facial development is before the age of four. And we know that the upper face, we need to work it between eight and 10 years old, or otherwise it will be difficult to, to have nice results. But why do I do phase one treatments? And this is something that I want to share with you. Airway centric is something that nowadays all of us, at least we hear about it. And this is the big change that I made in my clinic. Because I have a problem at home with my daughter and I will show her case today. And it worked, so I decided to start doing it for more patients. So the profile, dolic of facial patient, protrusion of the upper incisors, mouse breather, and apparently an easy case. Big midline deviation, class two on the right side. Okay, how can we treat it? Should we treat her or not? Uh, mixed dentition, when can we use wings or not? So there's a lot of questions around this. So we did all the orthodontic study, I will not lose time on that. Just please take a look at the lower incisor. Well, this is my daughter, and maybe because of that, uh, I was not expecting that the lower incisor was so bad. It is really bad, look at this. And I said, wow, what can I do? So I need to advance the mandible. I have a very bad position of the lower incisor. Uh, should I start now? Should I wait? 102 is really bad. So should we wait for the peak of growth? Will I continue with the non-sleeping system? <laughs> uh, well, I want to try anything. I tried everything with her, even we take out the at night. So let's do a treatment plan. So we just put the case, give every information to the technician, and the first clean check came back. Let's take a look at the first clean check. So how can we solve this? A little bit of expansion, change the arp shape, create space for the tongue, and solve the pro-inclination of the upper incisors. <laughs> 